Startup Weekend is an organisation based in Seattle. Um, a gentleman named Mark Norga uh, currently is the CEO of Startup Weekend. It's backed by the Kaufman Foundation, which is one of the world's largest uh, entrepreneurial focused organisations. The point of a Startup Weekend is it's a bunch of people that have an idea. Um, they don't necessarily know each other, but they turn up here at um, Friday evening, probably about six o'clock. They stand up with their idea. One by one they go through and they pitch the idea to the crowd. Uh, the crowd then votes on the top 10 or 12 most popular ideas uh, and they form teams around it. So it's from nothing on the Friday through to a, a fully thought out business perhaps with um, what we call a minimum viable product or so something to show the judges on a Sunday evening. So we ended up with about 12 teams spread around the building. They're all beavering away getting their final presentations ready. There's kind of a range of companies from, um, they tend to be technology based because uh, you can build something you can show in 54 hours, whereas a lot of, you know, a lot of other verticals, it's, it's harder to actually have something to show at the end of the weekend. Um, but technology, web based, tends to be popular. Um, and, and they sort of range from, um, there's a company that's looking at using QR codes to do a particular thing. There's a, a location specific service that provides very uh, localised messages to mobile phones if you happen to be driving through an area, for example. We, we discourage pre-existing -pre work, so the whole point is to build something from scratch on the Friday night. Um, and it's quite amazing what you see sometimes on the Sunday evening, it's fully working products. Um, sometimes the teams are made up largely of people that have ideas but don't know how to get them built. So they'll form up with developers that um, we're here till 4.30 coding stuff. We're lucky enough for, in, for this event to actually have um, several prizes, but the, the, the one that's probably attracted the most attention is the, the catapult package from Kiwi Landing Pad. Uh, we're potentially one of the teams, if, you know, if they meet the criteria, the leader of that team could be sent up to San Francisco to the Kiwi Landing Pad for a month, uh, where they can get, make the right connections with businesses up in the valley, meet some of the other startups that are currently already there and sort of get that, that kick off they need into the US market. There are three things that the judges look for and it's about being a viable business. So it's around um, business model, so you have to be able to justify that this thing could actually fly. Um, it has to have customer validation. So one of the important parts of the weekend is we say get out of the building, go and talk to customers um, or potential customers and see if you can, you know, would they turn into real customers. And, and the last part of it is what can you actually produce in the 54 hours. So even if you couldn't build a complete company with a complete product in 54 hours, as long as you can show that you know, the viability of it, this is what it's going to look like, this is how it's going to work, it doesn't have to be perfect uh, you know, by Sunday. Um, but the judges will be looking for those teams that have managed to put something together that sort of illustrates to them that it could be a viable business. So the actual point of the weekend is not necessarily the prizes. What they, what they get and what the teams go away with that's most valuable is the, is the thinking and skills they need to actually set up a, a startup business for real. Entrepreneurship is critical to New Zealand's future. So we're just doing our bit to make sure that grassroots stuff happens um, at this level. And the Catapult Prize goes to Hairpin. <laughs> Hairpin's uh, um, local broadcast messaging. So basically you can pin a message and everyone around, around you nearby can see it. It's been so crazy, so much this stuff to cover. With a small team, there's just um, all the elements that you have to address, everything you have to cover, you need to make sure that you've got every single element considered. I thought our idea had a chance of winning. It just had to be managed properly. I, um, we just had to take care of the idea and just make sure that that stayed true and with a small team I think that helped. And so, uh, first prize goes to Smile Today. Smiletoday.co is a crowdsourcing platform for charities based on sending a smile and changing the world. It's more based on smiles than it is money. Beautiful team, uh, everyone put their heart into it and we had a lot of fun and a lot of laughs and uh, we smiled a lot and it just so happened our product or service was about smiling so there we go.